Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Andy, aka the Opinionated Brit, and welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome to another Friday night shave, and uh, more importantly, welcome to the weekend. Um, hope you've had a good week. Hope it hasn't been too long and stressful. Um, if it has, leave all your troubles at work and uh, kick back and enjoy the weekend. Weekend starts right here. Um, what we're we looking at this week, uh, we are looking at another shave soap. It's not a, a new uh, soap per se, but it's a new limited, uh, festive limited. Um, and it is from Wickham 1912. Um, Darren was the guy uh, that set Wickham up and he's based in Hampshire in the UK. So he's a UK artisan. Um, it's a vegetal based uh, soap, uh, vegan. So it's not tallow, ba tallow based. Um, and this one, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I haven't used it yet. Um, Wickham is probably one of my favorite uh, soaps um, or favorite artisans. It's um, it's not, well, I don't think it's as well known over in the, uh, the US as it probably is in the UK or probably is as well known as it should be. If, I mean, this vegetable or vegetal based um, soap can go toe to toe with the best tallow based soaps, honestly. If you haven't tried them yet, um, you need to. You need to try and get your hands on um, a Wickham soap. So we'll go through uh, what we're going to be using today and then we will uh, talk a little bit more about the soap. So pre-shave, you know me, I like a good pre-shave. We're going to go Proaso White. Um, that's the one for the sensitive skin. Um, obviously soap. We're going to use the 1912 Christmas Spruce hardware. We're uh, going to use the Yaki Barber Pole with a tuxedo knot. Nice looking brush this. 24 millimeter synthetic uh, knot. We are going to use now, <coughs> excuse me, I still, uh, well, I have a chest infection. I think uh, I said it was a cold in my last video. It's actually a chest infection. So I'm taking antibiotics for that as we speak. Um, hardware. So somebody sent me a message on Instagram, um, a new subscriber, uh, Jeremiah. So shout out to you, Jeremiah. Thank you for the, uh, the uh, follow. Um, he sent me a, a message saying that he, he likes my videos uh, and he'd like to see another shave with the Muller I-89 twist. So um, who am I to deny Jeremiah that pleasure? Um, today we are using the Muller R-89 twist and we have a, I think, I can't remember, I think it's a, a third use Voschkod uh, blade. I um, haven't used this razor for a while, but it is a really nice razor. It's probably one of my favourites, actually. It's not too aggressive. It's uh, not mild, so mild that you don't get a good shave. It's just somewhere in between in the middle, so it's good. Um, we've got the Nick Stick from Pacific Shaving, just in case. You never know. Shout out to you, Stan, as always. Um, bowl, lather and bowl. We're going to use the fine black and grey lather and bowl um, and then to finish off the Osma Allen block and then obviously the matching Christmas spruce uh, aftershave balm nice looking forward to that so yeah without further ado we'll crack on um, we'll wet the face and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll start the shave yeah, we'll talk a bit, talk a bit more about that soap. So, obviously, I got my uh, mine from Agent Shave. Again, shout out to the guys at Agent Shave. Um, they're a UK distributor of um, shaving supplies. Really good, fantastic customer service. The items come uh, fantastically packaged. If you haven't used them, if you're based in the UK, highly recommend uh, you go and use Agent Shave. They're, uh, they are nice guys. So they sent this out to me. Um, I only found out about it whew, maybe a week and a half ago. didn't actually know that Wickham had brought out a Christmas Limited. So I jumped straight on that bandwagon. Um, obviously, the scent is a little, bit, it's a little bit different, actually. I like it. So it's described as, as this, if you're sitting comfortably, I shall begin. 
This year, we thought we'd uh, like to join us on an aromatic journey through the festive woodlands of Iceland. Uh, the smell of frosty Christmas trees and tasty warm sepsia. I hope I've said that right. Or that is an old traditional Icelandic Christmas cookies. Um, on its own pungent, so our Christmas spruce has been perfectly tamed with a vanilla, resulting in a much softer yet sophisticated fragrance. Kick back, relax, and get spruced up this Christmas, a gift to yourself and close ones. So the top notes, you've got pine, heart notes of spruce and base notes of vanilla. Um, the ingredients, so it's vegetable uh, based shaving soap, you've got potassium stearate, aqua, sodium cocoate, sodium cocoa, uh, butterate, a uh, lot of eight, eight in here, sodium palmate, um, simon, simontia, simontia, Chinonesis, or you've got jojoba oil seed, uh, sodium advocate uh, perfume, obviously the perfume, uh, white kaolin clay, um, allotonin, and glycerin. So, yeah, I'll put those, uh, I'll put that scent profile and the ingredients up on the on the video somewhere around here. Um, it comes in like uh, standard, uh, well, this is actually a, a 4.9 ounce shaving soap, obviously, oversized tub so that if you do want to lather from the tub you can do scent out the out the tub mm, i'd probably say i'll give it a five it's not the strongest um excuse me i need to cough <coughs> sorry it's not the strongest wickham scent actually they uh they are quite known for having strong scents i've got the club cola which is probably one of my favorite all-time scents that's quite strong and i have the what is it? The classic, which is based on um, Creed Aventus, but this one is quite tame uh, in terms of uh, scent. And hopefully, it'll come out a little bit more when you lather it. Obviously, on the front you've got this uh, Christmas label, and then on the back you've got your ingredients: um, Wickham Soap Company Artisan Shaving Soap, England, England, locked in for freshness the day it was made. <whistles> so it's locked in for freshness. Um, yeah, as I said, if you haven't checked out Wickham soaps before, you haven't been able to get your hands on them, definitely try and get your hands on them because they are fantastic soaps. So um, we will go in with a shovel re. Obviously, you won't get that unless you've been in the uh, the Royal Engineers or the Forces. Um, you won't get the reference, but I'll tell you. Everyone assumes that it's called a shovel re, which stands for Shovel Royal Engineers, but it doesn't. It stands for Shovel Round Edge. There you go. Every day's a school day. You're learning. You're learning as well as uh, finding out about shaving products. What more do you want from a channel? Um, so, yeah, we'll scoop a little bit out. It comes out super easy. Um, scoop it out. Chuck that in the bowl. Press it into the bowl. Wow, I've probably got a little bit too much here. But, hey, it's all good. It's better to have more than less. I'll just rub this in. We will, uh, oh, I forgot I've wetted the face, but I haven't uh, actually, I think I've got way too much in here. <laughs> It'll take me about an hour to uh, lather it. So yeah, I've got that pressed in there. Um, we'll wet the face again, we'll get the Pro uh, Rasa on. If you haven't, uh, again, if you haven't had a chance to use any Pro Raso pre shaves, and you do have sensitive skin. I'd highly recommend this. It smells good. They are easy to get hold of, Pro Raso, wherever you are in the world. Um, they have distributors all over, and they are very reasonably priced. Again, that's another plus point for Wickham. The soaps are, are reasonable. They're not over the top, they're not expensive per se. They are good value for money which is the uh, the best thing really another reason why i love wickham soaps so there you go that's uh the pre-shaving we will uh get some water in there i will lather this up and i will be back in a second and we are back um didn't take too long to lather up at all um it got nice uh smooth tommy shelby there again 
get the reference. Tom Shelby of Peaky Blinders. It is a Peaky Ladder. I've got to stop that. I'll end up doing that every week and people will just be like, shut up, Andy. But yeah, nice, uh, nice lather there. Lathered up. Easy. Easy as you like. No issues. So we'll uh, wash the excess off my hands and then we'll stick it on the old boat race. So yeah, um, they have a variety of scents, Wickham. Um, I've tried a few of them. Um, Club Cola, as I mentioned, uh, the classic, um, and they are all, speak about the, the scent. Again, it isn't massively noticeable off the, uh, even when you've lathered. Um, I'm getting quite a smooth scent. Uh, it's hard to describe really i mean i'm getting i'm definitely getting the, the spruce out of there which correct me if i'm wrong spruce is different to pine i don't think it's as harsh um but yeah i'm getting the, the spruce hmm not really getting much else to be honest um I can't pick out the vanilla, that doesn't mean it's not there, it's just um, I can't pick it out. It's not offensive, it's nice, it's um, festive, definitely festive. Um, for me personally, I could I'd probably prefer it to be a little bit stronger, I do like my scents. Um, for me, scent is a massive selling point or uh, a plus point on a soap. If it's got a good scent, I am a happy bunny. If it doesn't have a good scent, such as the, uh, well, again, it's subjective, but if I'm not a fan of the scent, I don't keep it. I shift the soap on. Um, and that was the case with the, unfortunately, with the barrister and man Dickens revisited. I used that the other night and I just didn't enjoy it. Um, it, it that was quite a strong scent. Um, had a shave with it the night before and I was still getting the, picking up the scent even throughout the day, the next day. So yeah, super, super scent that, um, but it just wasn't for me. I just got nutmeg, nutmeg, nutmeg. Which for me, just was a bit of a shave killer. So I will be moving that on, unfortunately. But as with the all the Barrister Man soaps, yeah, the performance on it was good. So no issues at all with the performance. It was just the scent, it wasn't for me. Not really picking the scent up on this one very much either when I'm uh, shaving with it. Slickness, smoothness, honestly, if you haven't had the chance to use a Wickham soap, it is smooth, it is slick, it is nice. Um, I think I probably pushed this blade a little bit too far. Um, it is a bit of a, a tuggy shave. Okay, that's my fault. One pass done, and uh, it is nice. I like that. We'll go in for another. Plenty of lather here. I've got enough here probably for about a week. I could shave every day for a week with this lot and I'd still be having some left over to shave with on the Monday. So yeah, a little bit goes a long way with the, uh, the Wickham soaps. Uh, yeah, I think just for me, it's a little bit disappointing that the, the scent isn't stronger, but hey, don't take anything away from that. It doesn't stop the performance being any worse. All of the Wickham soaps are great. Um... 
Michael has got to use uh, festive wise. Done my uh, review of the Sterling Evergreen Forest. Ah, I know what I've got. Sterling Christmas Eve. So I'll probably use that next week in next week's video. And I'll let you know my thoughts about that then. What are you guys up to this weekend? Anything or nothing? Um, some Christmas presents to lift uh, to lift up to pick up from a shop of the for the big day. Kids are getting excited. They've wrote their uh, their letters to uh, Father Christmas or Santa Claus, as you guys or most people know him. I always try and use Father Christmas because I'm English and it's uh, an English tradition. That's what we always call him. But most people nowadays call him Santa or Santa Claus. And the kids all go to school, people that call him Santa Claus. So I can't really uh, impose that on them. I can't tell them they have to call him Santa Claus. But hey, such is life, as they say. think Ooh, nice I'll do me that will do we'll uh, rinse off with a little cold water close it all pours off <coughs> oh dear excuse me this chest infection is taking it out me man that's commitment commitment to the cause I am still here I'm still doing the shave. What more could you ask for from a shaving channel? We'll stick some alum on. Ready for the piece de resistance, the uh, soothing aftershave balm and i actually i want to stick this i like i like to stick these in the fridge because it just gives you uh, especially during the summer it cools it down and when you slap it on whoosh, it's nice it's even more cooling than, and soothing than it is normally i haven't stuck this one in but um yeah the balms are really nice from uh wickham i don't think i've seen which i'd like to so darren if you're watching this a mentholated soap from wickham um Correct me if I'm wrong, so let me know in the comments if there is one, but I haven't seen one, but I would love to see uh, a Wiccan mentholated soap. Uh, we'll rinse the alum off. Pat it down a little bit with the, a little bit of product placement with the, uh, oh, helps you over the right way. The uh, Captain Fawcett uh, shaving towel, the, Suvette de Rosage. Not sure what that means. Let me know in the comments if you know what that means. So yeah, we'll go. Uh... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I think uh, when I finish this, we'll uh, I'll take myself off. I'll, I'll crawl under a rock and die. No, I won't. That wouldn't be good. But yeah, I don't feel great. A couple of just just one squirt normally does it. It is like a gel. Um, Rub it in a little bit. The scent is definitely more pronounced on the, the balm. Getting the, the spruce coming through a lot more. I think there is. Is there pine in there as well? I can't remember. Um, doesn't say there is. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, top notes of pine and middle notes of spruce. So maybe, yeah, I was getting the spruce through more on the, uh, the soap than the balm, but... Yeah, it's uh, nevertheless, it is. That's nice. It's a nice, fresh scent. Uh, I just I wish the scent on the soap was as strong as the, uh, the scent on the balm, but hey, it's uh, it is good. It's a typical Wickham soap, no complaints from the performance. The price is uh, is very reasonable. Um, and what more can you say? It gets the opinionated Brit seal of approval. Um, 
I hope you have a good day. Or I hope you've had a good day. I hope you, uh, you have a good weekend. Um, as always, really appreciate you watching. Really appreciate appreciate the likes, uh, the comments that you guys leave. Um, I'm pushing towards that 400 mark. Um, we're getting there. I don't know how many more uh, subscribers we need, but yeah, spread the word, spread the love about the Opinionated Brit. Um, if you're watching this and you don't subscribe, I really appreciate uh, you clicking that subscribe button. Um, click the like button. And as I say, leave a comment. I love the interaction with you guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, have a good weekend, whatever you're up to. Um, stay out of trouble, stay safe, and most importantly, stay shaving. Peace. Thank you.